1989, the prison right here behind me shut down. 30 years before that, an event occurred here that may not seem like much to most people, but it changed one man's life forever. Fort Pillow State Prison Farm. As a young boy, Jim Lewis spent every Saturday here with the warden's son, watching the prisoners play baseball. I have wonderful memories of this place. For a 10, 12 year old growing up, this was like a playground to me. And I'm embarrassed that I have such, uh, such good memories. I almost feel guilty because thousands of men were imprisoned here. The prisoners played against local pickup teams that didn't put up much of a challenge. I would tell Mr. Joe, why don't you get some better competition? Mr. Barfield always said, well, it's not that easy. But after months of reaching out, Purdue University agreed to come play at the prison in March 1959 though concerns from Purdue nearly caused them to back out. I can just imagine some young man who's a sophomore, he's just made the team, and he's got the schedule, and, and he tells his parents about the road trip that opens up the season, how they're going to play in Memphis, and then the third game of the year, they're going to play inside a state prison complex under armed guard against convicted felons 10 to 12 years older than them. But Purdue kept their word, and when they arrived, they did what none of the local teams could ever do, defeat the prisoners in baseball. The prisoners were thrilled to have such strong competition, but what they didn't know was they had just played their last game. Two months after the game, a riot broke out at the prison, effectively ending prison baseball. The most notable game Fort Pillow ever played was also the last game. Fort Pillow ever played. I wish we could go back to 1958, 59, and persuade them not to have a riot. <laughs> we could have played another summer, you know. I think if you ever played here, you never, you didn't forget. And for me, March 29th, 1959, will always be remembered as the day Purdue came. Reporting from Fort Pillow State Prison Farm, I'm John Michael Cronin.
what I like to do on the on the pan. Yeah, no, I like that, yeah. Just for the fun of it, I mean. Definitely, we need as much B-roll as we can.